Hi everyone, so today I've got a Tabata workout for you. So 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. First move is gonna be our squat jumps. And second move is our side lunges, taking our hand to opposite foot or low level, not adding in the jump or the arms. Away we go, starting with our squat jumps. 20 seconds here. So again, really pushing the bottom back pushing off through the heels of your feet. Good, keep up the breathing. 20 seconds and rest. 10 seconds off. And then we're coming into our side lunges. Away we go. So keeping the chest up, looking straight ahead. Really sticking your bottom back. So we've got a nice cardio round to begin with. Make sure we're nice and warm. Good. Really trying to reach. Getting down as low as you can and resting. 10 seconds here. And then we've got round two. Squat jumps. Away we go. Sticking the bottom back, pushing through the heels of your feet, making sure your knees are tracking over your toes. Really getting as much power through the legs as you can. Good. And rest. Take nice, big, deep breaths. And coming back ready for our lunges. Away we go, side lunges. Really sticking your bottom out, trying to get down nice and low, but keeping the chest up, eyes looking ahead. Good, really pushing off your bent leg. One more and rest. Taking some nice big deep breaths here, 10 seconds off. And then we're coming back to our squat jumps. All right, away we go, squat jump. Getting as much power through the legs as we can. Really not letting the body rest. Pushing through. It's only 20 seconds. Good. Sinking that bottom down and back. Almost there. Rest. Good. Nice big deep breaths. You're halfway. Only two more rounds of squats left. And coming into our side lunges. So option one, if you are getting tired, otherwise down and across, adding in the jump. So really working your level. So just losing the jump and losing the arms. If it is getting too much on the legs, working at your level and rest. Good job, two more rounds. We can do this. Away we go, squat jump. Remember, if the squat jumps are getting too much, just keep going with the squats. Take out the jump. Really getting down to 90 degrees. Good, give me two more. And rest. Take a breather. Only got one more round of squats to go after that. We're doing well. Coming into our lunges, side lunges here. Good, keeping up the rhythm, keeping up the power. Moving our bodies nice and quick. Keeping the chest up, head up. Reaching down and across, arm to opposite foot. Resting. Good, one more round of each. All right, last round of squats. Come on, give it all to me here. Nice big pushes, lots of power. Trying to get a real nice lift off the ground. I don't have the best vertical jump, so pushing a little higher than me. Keep going and rest. Good job. No more lunge jumps for today. Just got our side lunges to go. And round one is done. Away we go. 20 seconds of work here. You're doing really well. Keep up the pace. 
remembering if it is too much keep moving so just tapping your leg out to the side without the jump and without the arm and rest good job round one is done all right coming into round two to bite around again so we've got high knees to begin with let's go 20 seconds here pumping the arms keeping those knees up nice and high good we've only got 20 seconds we would have less than and rest 10 seconds off coming down onto our mat and we've got single leg lowers so lifting the legs up in line with the hip dropping one leg down at a time pushing your back flat against the mat really engaging your deep abdominal muscles good keep the breathing exhale as you lower inhale as you lift good feeling those lower abs and rest round one done feeling good taking nice big deep breaths and away we go high knees really pumping the arms into it as well good really feeling our core engage as we lift those knees up to hip height pumping through the arms and rest low level option there if you need it too coming back down onto our mats single leg lower round two engaging through the core really focusing on the breathing getting control much easier to control the breath here than when we're doing high knees good feeling those lower abdominals engage and rest coming back up ready for high knees taking nice big deep breaths as we recover here away we go good remembering your options if you need otherwise keep going come on we're in this together push through it keep pushing good and you can rest good nice big deep breaths to recover and legs coming back up for single leg lower away we go alternating legs really trying to straighten them out remembering the lower you extend the leg the e harder it is so just work within your limits there should be no arching through your lower back resting up good two more rounds to go high knees starting now lifting those knees up pumping the arms come on keep it up breathe through it smile through it that always helps us good 20 seconds feels like a while but we can do it and rest good job good news is we've only got one more round of high knees after this And getting started single leg lowers so stopping halfway down you don't have to lower all the way down so if you feel this tension through the back you're not engaging your core and you are going too low so really use different levels and rest last round we've got this high knees and one more round of leg lowers away we go come on really give it your all 20 seconds less than now pump the arms really bouncing off the forefront of our foot keep it up good work and rest well done hard parts over finishing up with our single leg lowers and away we go last 20 seconds here 
and then we get a rest. Alternating those legs, making sure we're really engaging through our core, pushing that belly button flat down into the mat so your back is not arching. Last one and resting down. Good job. Round three. So we're starting off with burpees. So don't jump the feet out, just walk the feet out if you need. So that's option two. Second exercise is going to be Spider-Man. So we're taking our knee to the outside of our same side elbow. So we're not crossing the body like mountain climbers, coming to the outside of the elbow. All right, let's get started. Burpees, here we go. Full body exercise here. Really pushing through. So we've got cardio, but we've got strengthening here as well. Keep it up. 20 seconds. And rest. Good job. Coming down onto our mat or our Spider-Mans. Away we go. So taking the knee to the outside of the elbow. Really walk, starting to work through our oblique muscles here. So really engaging through the core. Drawing shoulders down and back. Keeping your bottom down and rest. Good work. Taking nice big deep breaths. And burpees round two. So really trying to move as quickly as we can. So quick jump up, quick feet back and straight back in. Good. You can fit in last one. And rest. Good. Taking those nice big deep breaths as we recover. And coming back down onto the mat for our Spider-Man. Good, away we go. So if this is getting too much, just holding a plank, whether that's on your toes or on your knees, doesn't matter. Use your levels. Otherwise, keep it up, really engaging the oblique muscles here and rest. Good. Big breaths. And away we go for burpees. Starting to really fatigue now. Keep pushing through, dig deep. Good. We are over halfway of our whole workout. Looking good, keep it up, have a rest. Take those big deep breaths. And coming back down for Spider-Man. Now these can also be done on your forearms if you need. So if you don't have strong wrists, use your difference. Or as I am, just holding a plank. Good. And rest. We're looking good. We're feeling good. Got two more rounds to go. Here we are, burpees again. Really big jump up using all the power that we have. Keep pushing. Good, and rest. Good news is we've only got one more round of burpees after this. Two more rounds of Spider-Man. And away we go. Good, not letting the neck drop. Eyes looking above your mat. Really feeling the obliques work around the love handles. Keeping that core engaged. And rest. Last round. Good job, guys. This one's been a tough one. We've got this. Really try and push yourself through. Away we go, burpees. 
So remember stepping out the feet if you need, but come on, this is our last round. Got about 15 seconds to go. Keep it up, keep a nice consistent pace. Keep that body moving. Good. And rest, well done. Burpees are done for today. Spider-Man's to go. And then we've got one more round of work. All right, away we go. 20 seconds here. Holding strong, engaging through the core. Keeping our bottom down. Don't let the bottom push up. And rest. Well done. All right, good work. Round four, here we go. So first exercise is going to be squat with leg extension or kickback. Really squeeze the bottom as we do that. Then we're coming down onto the mat for push-ups. So either on your toes or your knees. All right, coming up. Let's get started. Squat with our kickback. So really squatting down nice and low and squeezing the glutes as we kick that leg back. Getting that extension through. Last one and rest. Good job coming down for our push-ups. I'm going to try and start on my toes. Away we go. So set yourself a little goal. How many do you want to be able to do on your toes? Before dropping. My goal is five. Then when you hit that goal, dropping to your knees. Don't stop. Remembering we still want good formation. So if that's going on your knees, please do so. Have a rest. Taking those nice big deep breaths. And then here we go, round two, squat with our leg extension. Squeezing those glutes. Really squatting down as low as we can, making sure your knees are tracking over your toes. Little bit of balance here as well. So if you need to hold on to something, holding on to a back of a chair or a wall and rest. You can still do the same movement. All right, coming back into our push-ups. I'm having a rest on my, from my toes this round. Good, making sure shoulders are down and back, keeping the neck in line with the spine. Don't let the head fall. Last one, and rest. Good. Coming back up for our squat with our leg extension. Away we go, squatting down, kicking back. Really squeezing your bottom as you kick that leg behind. Alternating through. Getting down nice and low, pushing the weight through the heels of your feet. Last one, and rest. Good work. All right, I'm gonna start back up on my toes again. Aiming for three. For our push-ups, away we go. Pushing out. Remembering, try not to lose your form. I got three. So coming back down on your toes when you need. Taking that chin down towards the mat. Holding strong through your core and rest. Coming back up. Here we go, round three of our squats. After this, we'll be halfway. Really squeeze those glutes. Getting those legs fired up. Good work. Alternating through, really trying not to lean too far forward. Holding strong, good balance. Well done. Coming back down. For our push-ups, really starting to work those arms, making sure the elbows are staying about 45 degrees from the body and not coming out too far. 
Good. Hands underneath our shoulders. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the core, and have a rest. Last round. And away we go with our squats. Give me as many as you can with control. Squatting down nice and low. Now you can squat a little bit lower. Come on. Keep it up. Push through the heels and rest. Good work. Last round of push-ups. So I'm going to start on my knees and then for the end we're going to push up onto our toes. Good. Really working the upper body. But really this is a full body exercise push-ups. All right, last 10 seconds. Come up onto your toes if you can. We're in this together. Smile through it. All right, staying up in our plank position. Let's finish off nice and strong. Let's finish with a 30 second plank here. Good work. Keep up that breathing. Engage the core, engage the glutes. Relaxing through the shoulders and not letting that neck fall. Good work. Engage through the core, just lowering the knees if you need. Five more seconds here. Three, two, and one. Lowering the knees and we are done. So we're gonna start with some stretches. So coming into our cat cow. So lowering the belly down, lifting the head. Then exhale, rounding through. Inhale, dropping the belly, neck comes up. Exhale, lifting up into the cat. And then sinking back into child's pose. Taking those nice big deep breaths. Great work today. And we're slowly going to walk our hands over to one side. Feeling a stretch through the side body. As well as through the shoulders. And on your next exhale, walking the hands across to the other side. Still trying to push the chest down into the mat. And coming back to center, lifting up. We're going to bring one leg forward. So left leg forward into our lunge, reeling release through the hips, through the hip flexors. Then lifting left arm up towards the sky, twisting towards your left knee. Feeling that through the chest and through the glutes. Coming back to center, swapping feet, so right foot forward. Opening up through the hips, through the pelvis. And then we're lifting the right arm, taking the arm as back as as far back as you like through the chest, really feeling this through the glute. And then coming back to center, bringing both feet to the top of the mat, bending the knees. Inhale, lifting through and walking through the feet, stretching out the hamstrings, lowering one heel down to the mat at a time. Exhale, bending. And then inhale, slowly rolling up, arms coming overhead, and back down, finishing with our three breaths. Inhale as we lift, exhale as we come down. Last one. Well done. Have a lovely day. And don't forget to hit subscribe and share the workouts with your friends.